I moved into Community Access on January 3rd, um, 2001. I was living in hell. It, it was it, it was one ongoing nightmare. I had come from California. Um, the jerk that I was with told me that we would have a place to stay and everything, and he moved me across the country, told me that we were going to be moving to his friends. Well, he lied, and um, he, you know, before I knew it, I was either, I was kind of jumping from psych ward to psych ward, either whether I was suicidal or not, um, I needed to stay in the psych ward because I had to figure out a way to be comfortable and keep sane because I have a diagnosis on Axis 1 bipolar disorder and um, so that helped facilitate me getting in there and getting away from the monster that I was with at the time. And I mean, you know, starting at, you know, when I had, was first raped at 18 years old at gunpoint while I was hitchhiking to Florida. And, you know, it went on and on from there. Um, I was raped by two police officers at one time in Maryland. Um, I was, you know, I was searching for cocaine. Actually, the police officers, quote, unquote, quote, police officers were looking to score some cocaine, and they handcuffed me after showing me their badges and their guns and so on and so forth. And since I had paraphernalia, they told me that they were going to take me to jail with my handcuffs on if I didn't let them rape me while I was handcuffed. And so after they both raped me and set me free, um, I at least I didn't get to go to jail. So I really didn't, the, the rape affected me and I called the hotline, but nobody could do anything. Um, um, another time I had a first overdose, um, that was the only time I ever shot up cocaine. I was very reluctant, but the guy intentionally overdosed me in order to rape me. And then I woke up the next day on the lawn by the sidewalk, like down the street, and I saw him looking at me. Fast forward, 29 years old, I, I did get clean on my nephew's day of birth. And then I was hospitalized in Shepherd Pratt in Baltimore with my first bipolar diagnosis. And then my husband left me, ending up connecting with a gay man, and so it ended in divorce. Then, fast forward, California, I was attacked by a police officer. I was held hostage by police and forced to sit in the nude for two days while the guards masturbated. That I included in my personal background of my thesis that I did write in for grad school on domestic violence. Just as a summary, which brings me to why supportive housing was so great for me, just to kind of wrap it around. You know, once I really got situated with the support of housing with community access after a little bit of time, um, I sort of reclaimed my life, as you might say. You know, supportive housing was the best thing for me because there was somebody there 24 hours a day. You know, I could say it was probably the nighttime front desk staff that worked at Gouverneur Court that really had played a major role in saving my life. You know, they, they helped me not go out when I really wanted to try to stay clean. I didn't have to go to another rehab. You know, no more domestic violence, no more abuse, no more victimization, no more overdosing, no more um, uh, convulsions or so cocaine-induced psychosis or uh, craziness, not knowing when I'm going to get punched in the face or strangled or you know, mutilated or, you know, but... I did a thesis, 
I ended up having an emerging preoccupation to intervene in the positive way into the lives of other victims on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. I believe it was 22 out of 25 of those victims have PTSD. Hmm. And, um, you know, I, I, had, I could pull up the statistics. But I, I think that, you know, what's interesting is those victims that I interviewed, when they got rid of their abuser or got away from the victimization somehow, you know what, guess what? They were able to get clean or have a successful practice harm reduction successfully where they were no longer in danger. The amount of victimization that I experienced, I even was victimized by police officers. Mm -hmm. Look at the two, 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 rape by two police officers one time and another time, look, look, I, I don't even know what in the world happened there in California. People recover at different rates. People recover in different avenues. Every every way is ta has to be tailor made to that person, and, and and their needs and their strengths and, and interests and weaknesses and so on and so forth. It's a very complex issue.